It would be hard to think of a more damaging day for a president than one on which his former campaign chairman disappeared behind bars for years to come. But Paul Manafort's new sentence was the least of Donald Trump's worries Wednesday as his Russia investigation nightmare took yet another turn for the worse. New suspicions about dangled pardons, conflicting congressional testimony, implicit pleas for clemency and fresh suggestions of inappropriate presidential behavior delivered a new twist to the drama with Washington already on edge in anticipation of special counsel Robert Mueller's final report. A new firestorm erupted over disputed assertions that ex-acting Attorney General Matt Whitaker did not deny in a closed congressional meeting that he had spoken with President Donald Trump about a case involving Trump's ex-lawyer Michael Cohen. CNN reported explosive new revelations involving Cohen's allegation that a pardon had been dangled in exchange for him staying loyal to the president, in which he was purportedly told he could be sure he had friends in high places. Both new angles on the Russia intrigue came on the day that a judge added to the prison sentence of Manafort, Trump's former campaign chairman, after he was snared in Mueller's investigation. He faces a total of 7.5 years in prison. For the second time in a week, a Manafort attorney emerged from a sentencing hearing and appeared to twist a judge's words in a way that raised suspicions he was bolstering Trump's claims that there was no collusion in return for a pardon for his client. Trump did little to stem speculation he might act in such a manner by saying he felt very badly for Manafort while making the barely believable assertion that the thought of springing Manafort from jail after his convictions for tax and financial fraud, obstruction, and witness tampering had never entered his mind. Those comments came two days after White House spokeswoman Sarah Sanders appeared to imply Trump had at least thought about freeing Manafort by saying he'll make a decision when he is ready. As is often the case in the Russia investigation and associated cases, vital details remain unknown and there is a sense that the information available to the public is only scratching the surface of what might really have happened. But equally there is no proven direct evidence of collusion by the president from any of the multiple investigations that are swirling around his White House and are now digging deep into his personal and business affairs as well as the 2016 campaign. Still, a day of frenetic activity and foreboding claims and counterclaims raised new questions about the appropriateness of the president's past behavior and whether he will try to absolve his former associates with his pardon power one of the most compelling questions in Washington in early 2019. Wednesday's developments underscored once more the peril the president potentially faces from the new investigative powers of the freshly elected Democratic-led House. The politics raging around the investigations also suggested yet again how hard it will be for the nation to eventually coalesce around an outcome that offers a sense of closure after the uproar of the 2016 election. The new developments could also prompt a discussion of whether Mueller has more work to do at a moment when he had appeared to be close to filing the report on his investigation with the Attorney General.